the burrito? Good yeah, burrito? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry? Hells to the yes. That's the Have you ever heard a man scream like a woman? Something like that. Um, I was asking, uh, this is um, a show that uh, has, um, in this event like this, has a unique, you know, closer to the fans, a fans that in the history of the show have been very important to the team. What, how do you feel about them and how do you feel about coming and doing, you know, now, what, what, what are we doing? I mean, as far as I'm concerned, they, they might as well all be executive producers of our show. We've only been able to exist and, and, and continue to exist because they've yes. cared enough to fight for us and, and stay with us and, uh, and buy sandwiches or uh, go online or send letters and phone calls and, uh, and everything they could possibly do. I mean, that's a lot of time. It's a lot of time and money and, and everything. And, they, and that was all to our bleeding and us that we did together. So. so, what's a show that in your past you wish you had fought for? Uh, Josh? I was a pretty big, uh, I don't know, I mean, I mean pretty, uh, I think when I was younger, I was a guy for 18, kind of, probably when I was a kid, so I probably should have fought for 18 harder, <laughs> you know? I we all down, should I have. Down the two, right? right? Was, like, was 18 ever in trouble? I think it did, I think it kind of, well, it did, like, uh, three or four years. Isn't that crazy? I think. Yeah. I know, it's tragic. So, we you know there's a lot of musical talent on the show. If there were to be a musical episode, Chuck Morgan, what do you think you would sing? Pretty Little Surrey with the fringe on top. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about the season under the sea. <laughs> Little Mermaid. Yeah. We're talking a little bit about what's going on in the new season, how things are changing, and how the other sets, and how the things are going to be in the way it looks Sure, yeah, I think it, uh, I, I, I think it, uh, it's not going to change the dynamic that much, right? I, that's my guess. I think that the show is still Chuck, and it's still going to be based uh, heavily around Chuck. Um, and it's just sort of a new obstacle to be thrown at Chuck. Basically, now his friend has this, this thing that he's had. Um, so he knows the sort of pitfalls of that. He knows what he's, his friend's in, in for. Um, so obviously, Chuck's natural concern for his friend. And, um, you know, there's, so there's, you know, and, 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 and then coming to grips with his own abilities without this, without the intersection. Um, so, again, I think it's still a, a, a sort of, it's a pretty Chuck season of how does Chuck handle this new obstacle. Exactly. Do you have a little intersect envy now, or is it still very No, no. I mean, look, I, I've flashed. I've flashed a lot. And, uh, 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 and look, the, the intersect's one of the coolest things, and I, I know obviously I'm biased, but it's one of the coolest things that I've ever seen on a television So It's a really... Uh, it's a really fun thing. You can kind of go anywhere and do anything, you know, and, and you can be a regular guy who does that. Um, so I was really blessed to get to play with that thing for four years, and uh, and it has a change and evolved from just information and then physical abilities and all that. And I'm really excited for Josh to be able to have that same kind of fun. Um, and seeing, <laughs> I'm delighted to watch him just go through the challenges and obstacles of learning you know, five lines of uh, Korean in, in, in a day or whatever, you know? Because it's fun. It's <laughs>